Welcome everybody to my AI live. Today is Wednesday, May 15th. Halfway through May already. Is that kind of shocking or what? It's gone by fast. Well, for is there anybody brand new today? Do we have any new people? If you're brand new, please put a one in the chat for me. Put a one in the chat if you are new. This is our youngest member that's with Diane. This is our newest youngest member. Isn't she adorable? I just love her. Can you imagine actually being raised with all of these principles of, of marketing and making finances and freedom and mindset and everything else, how different our lives would be? We've got a great thing to give the next generation, that's for sure. There's Nina. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, Zai. Good to see you, honey. Mary Kohler's here. Yay. Jenny, good to see you. Jenny, I'm going to come to you, but make sure you go ahead and do your work too. I, I don't want to take you away from your work. Away from your work. Okay. All right. We are good. All right. Well, let's talk today. Today is Wednesday. A lot of different things that we can do on Wednesday. For hashtags, I don't see any new people here. If you're new, please put a one in the chat for me. So for Wednesdays, we could do Wealth Wednesday, of course. I love Wealth Wednesday. This comes from Ray Higdon. Ray Higdon talks about how going out and doing something for somebody else as a blessing to somebody else. And it does two things. One, it blesses, you know, you sow seed, you get back what you sow. But the second thing is, is very much it talks about how our own mindset works, that when we do something in abundance like that, it cre it, it tells our subconscious that we don't have lack. And so when we try to hold on to things and hoard things and say, we don't have enough money, we don't have enough of this, we don't have enough of that, it creates this mindset where our back of our mind, our reticular activation system actually focuses on lack and you will create more lack in your life. So this is science-based. Um, and so the thought is if you go and simply buy somebody a cup of coffee, you know, at Starbucks or, you know, you're in the drive through buy somebody else's lunch behind you or something, doing something small, taking like five to $20 and putting it in a diaper box, you know, brand new diapers for a mom to find when she opens up the box, any of those things. The principle is, is that it helps you with your own mindset towards Monday m money and it blesses somebody else. So that's one that's really popular that actually showcases who you are. Now, remember the number one job in social media is to showcase your values, your lifestyle, who you are, and to give a ton of value about whatever it is that you know that you have experienced, that you have grown from, right? So it's not just a simple, oh, look at me, look at me kind of thing. That's not what we're trying to get across. What we're getting across is we're showing people the truth of who we are with full authenticity while giving a ton of value which gives them the invitation to join our tribe. And where that's what essentially what we're doing is building a tribe, right? So with that, um, we do have the ability, let's see, let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and show you where your replay is gonna be. And then we are going to get started. Um. Oh, here we go. That was bizarre. Okay. Somehow it disappeared. Okay, we're going to come over here. To find your replay today, you're going to come over to the official Corporate Now site group. This is the official Corporate Now site group. If you do not already belong here, please make sure you join. This is where you're going to find all your newest information. This is where you're going to find everything that you need. You can ask questions, all these kinds of things. So you definitely want to make sure that you are there. If you want to know more about me, you'll come over. Oh, that's on my post. You'll come over to my Facebook. Mine is facebook.com eTransforms you. You can come over here and find me here. And if you're going to share a post today, I'm going to put my link in the chat. You're going to do the same thing with your social media, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is. You're going to put your link to your social media profile there so I can find your post if you want me to review posts. Now, today we're going to take a little bit of time to review some posts and review your Facebook or LinkedIn pages or whatever it is if you want some help on those. So we will we should have a little bit of time at the end of this if you want to do that. Now, next thing, let's talk about some things that we can do. So 
again, we've made everything from testimonials. So this week we did some testimonial ones, or last week we did some testimonial um, um, posts. We have done some posts that are also about embracing our journey, what we've learned, what we've overcome, all these different things, right? Every single one of the posts on my uh, Facebook and on all of my social media are all done with the NowSite program. And I think it's really important for you to know that because I actually use it. I actually use it to build, like I'm not kidding. So I've done this for a very long time. However, the NowSite program will make it easier for you to write. So let's talk about what we're going to do today. What is it? What kind of conversations do you want to have today? What do you want to lead people to? Remember, anytime we make a post, we always have the intention of the outcome first of what we want. We're not just randomly throwing up posts just for the heck of it, right? So Martina today may want to have conversations about her health product. She may want to have conversations about the business. So if she wants to have conversations about her health product, she's going to talk about some testimonials or some wisdom that she has learned on her journey with her health product. Her company has a hero product. And so it's going to, it's going to be very much this, okay, this is the, you know, kind of the testimonial thing. If it's the business that she wants to talk about today, she's going to talk about her decisions of why she's doing the business. If it's a class that she wants to offer, maybe for some of you, anybody here teach classes that you have like, you know, kind of webinars about your product, anything like that? Do any of you guys do that? Nobody does any presentations about your product? I'm really terrified. You really don't do presentations about your product? You really don't talk to people? Not yet. Guys talking to people. Yeah. Do we need to start from the beginning? <laughs> Goodness. All right. You should always be offering something, right? So let's talk about some things you can offer to. You can always point and offer to a one minute miracle. A one minute miracle is a one it is a 60 to 90 second testimonial about your product, about your own story, about you, you deciding to make a business, anything like that. You could also point and invite to a presentation where you have a video or something that you do. You can invite to a Zoom. You can invite to a coffee. You can invite to, you know, a Zoom coffee. I love Zoom coffees. I don't do phone calls. People are always like, well, just give me your number. Well, if I give you my number, you're texting me because really it's hard for me to hear on the phone. I, I've got the greatest iPhone in the world. I've got AirPods and I still am just such a visual person that audio is like, okay, that's not, that's not fun for me. So I still always set up Zooms for everybody, right? So today I want you to think about what are, what is the conversation that you want to have? What do you want the conversation to go to? So Nina does hair, right? She does hair. She's, she's done Ashton Kircher. She's done Keanu Reeves. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Like this woman's incredible, right? And now she's doing all of this personal uh, um, coaching for hair and helping people like transform their styles, right? So she's going to have conversations about hair. She's going to have conversations about confidence because we know that sometimes when you just change your hair, it, it changes your life, right? I, I've had twice where that happened, where I've just got a dramatically different hairstyle and all of a sudden I felt like a different person. So she's going to have conversations like that. Jennifer down here, my good friend down here, she is going to have conversations either to her hair product or to the business opportunity, right? She helps people build businesses. Same with Cindy Luke up here. Cindy's going to do the same thing. So are you inviting to your community? Are you inviting people to a coffee? Are you inviting people to a Zoom? Are you inviting people to a one minute miracle? Are you inviting people to a conversation? If you don't know what you have to invite somebody to, the likelihood of you having conversations is pretty slim, right, Jennifer? They're not going to want it. Why would they want to talk? Because they're like, I don't know what to do with the person. And if you have ever felt like you don't know what to say, then this is the time to fix that, right? So what are you inviting to? Okay. So here's some of the things I invite to. So if you've ever like been like, I don't know what I should invite to, what should I be inviting to? I'm going to give you a couple. I always invite people to either join my community 
or I invite people to a Zoom coffee, which I call a discovery call. It's a term that is used by coaches, but can be very easily used as with business people, especially you don't want every single person to sign up with you. Because if you don't get along, that can cause a lot of issues, right? So you want to make sure that's somebody you want to work with, right? So you can invite to a phone call if you're a phone call kind of person. But remember, the hierarchy of sales is face-to-face, -face, you get the most trust the fastest, video, next, then phone call, then text, then email, okay? So that's your that's how the hierarchy goes, right? And so, oh my gosh, I love it when Jennifer and I talk about the exact same thing. That's so beyond cool. Okay. So here's the thing. I really want you to think about what kind of conversation do you want to have today and what are you inviting people to? So when I do a weight loss post, I'm always inviting people to a Zoom or to my community. Okay. If I am doing a, um, a post, like right now I'm getting ready to teach a class on uh, time blocking and, and power time secrets, it's called. And so we're going to be teaching people how to actually do time in a completely different way, like actually that gets you results, right? So I'm going to be inviting people to my class. That's the kind of conversations I want to have. I want to invite people to come to the class. So what are you doing today? What are you inviting to? Okay, so let's think about that while we're doing our demo, and I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's come over here. We're going to get our nail site up. And remember, you've got your three steps you're doing every day, right? So posting on social media. So if you're inviting to a conversation about something, your product, your business, your community, your class, your presentation, something like that, you want to make sure that you have the right people for that class, right? So you can do any of these. I am these days loving selfie AI and caption my image, but I also still love long post and suggested image and caption and suggested image. So today I'm going to do long post and then I'm still going to use my own photo. So getting things done was so hard for me at one time. I used to have too much on my plate and could not keep up with everything. I always felt like I was failing and my business was struggling because I did not know how to max manage and maximize my time. I learned some secrets amazing leader that I put into practice. I also learned how the mind can keep us in a state of chaos. Now, I have a successful business. Time, freedom, and the overwhelm 
is gone. You want to have more time. You want to more peace while getting more done. Drop a me down below or message me. I am doing a workshop on all the things changed my All right, I'm going to clean up my typos as usual. And do, 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 do. you want to feel more peaceful by getting more done? Drop, not from, not frop, drop uh, me. And I'm going to put that in parentheses down below or message me okay all right so i've got this here and what i'm going to do now it's the reason i'm doing it like this is because first of all when this post is done with the algorithm remember i told you if you put your links in in there Facebook doesn't like people to leave. And so you're not going to have as high of an algorithm, right? So I'm going to tell people at the very beginning while I'm working the algorithm, drop me or message me to get the link to the workshop, right? Once this post is done with all of that, I'm going to pin it to the top of my page and then I'm going to put the link in directly, right? So then it doesn't affect the algorithm because I'm not worried about the algorithm on this one. I'll be working on another post, working that one to have to start those conversations. So let's generate this. Now, again, this could work with um, you. I All right, fine. It doesn't like my words. I've got too many words. I think they put that limit in just for me. All right, fine. Long post and they tell me I have too many words. Silly. All right, anyways. So the reason I did long post and suggested images, it's going to write it out really long. I may not want it that long, but it tends, I, the reason I love long post and suggested image is it tends to give more value in places where I can pull out certain per paragraphs if I don't want the entire thing, right? Okay, so let's look at this. There was a time when I felt completely overwhelmed by everything I had to manage in life and work. Days would fly by in a blur of meetings, emails, and never ending to-do lists that seemed to mock me with its length. I knew something had to change or I was on the fast track to burnout. Does that sound familiar to you? Okay, so that is exactly my thing. The first lifesaver for me was learning the art of uh, prioritization. It sounds simple. I don't know if I will actually use all these tips because I'm actually trying to point people to a workshop instead. So I'm going to take the tips out and I'm going to put this part. Now I run a successful business where overwhelm has no home. I have time for myself, my loved ones, and even new projects. Achieving this kind of balance and peace may seem distant, but it's totally possible with a few changes. If you're feeling swapped and think that there's no way out, let's chat. I'm going to say instead there about my workshop, right? Drop me a, a me down below or send me a message. Let's transform your overwhelm into success together. You deserve time freedom in a flourishing business just like I now enjoy. It's perfect, right? But I'm going to take the tips out because I don't need the tips there. I want them to come to the workshop. So now where's Courtney? Courtney, the Courtney's there is driving. So Courtney does uh, sourdough and health and a lot of gut things, right? 
So when she's doing all these regular posts like this, now she's going to do the invite of what her life was like before learning all of this, the, if she had gut issues or things like that. She's going to talk about what things were like before, just like I did here. And then afterwards, Courtney, you're going to go and invite somebody to the workshop that you're doing on the sourdough and stuff like that, right, on your health thing. So you invite them to that after you're telling your story. So notice I didn't just go say, hey, everyone, I have a new class. I could do that. I've got, I have enough followers to do that, but that's not what I want to do. I actually want to find the people that this would truly help. Okay. And they may not know as much about me. Same as you. So Deborah, people may not know you as well as what you would like. So you're going to tell a little bit of your story first, then do the invite to something, right? Okay. So we're going to hit get started. I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to use this picture. I'm going to temporarily use a selfie and then I'm going to go back in and put my square in because I didn't have my square for the class quite ready yet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and not download this image. I'm going to post to Facebook. And as I post to Facebook, I'm going to come back over here. There was a time when I felt completely overwhelmed by everything I had to manage in life and work. Days would fly by in a blur of meetings, emails. And I'm going to like, I think I'm going to pop it off right there and see if I can get the see more earlier. And then I knew something had to change and I'm going to put a little bit more white space in there. Now, I'm going to take out the tips. And I know that sounds strange for what I always teach people, but right now I'm not giving value. I want to have a different result, right? And that's why we always have to think about the result we want when it is that we are doing something. Okay, now I run a successful business where overwhelm has no home. And I'm going to change that to an explanation point because I like explanation points. Okay, I have time for myself, my loved ones, and even new projects. Achieving this kind of balance may and peace may seem distance, distant, but it's totally possible with a few changes. Now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get, no, I don't want spotlight search. Uh, command control shift, isn't it? Yeah. I want to put a happy face here. There. Okay. If you're feeling swamped and think there's no way out, let's chat. Now, I'm not going to put the chat there, right? If you're feeling swamped and think there's no way out, I want you to know, not now, know that things can be different let's see i am teaching a new workshop on managing and maximizing your time this is like nothing you have learned before. I am using the same techniques that changed my life and so many of my coaching clients If you are ready for real change, if if you are ready to live a more happy, peaceful life, wow. 
getting more done with better results. I want to invite you to my new work shop power time secrets okay in the comments below or dm me and then i'm going to put me in here okay all right if you're feeling swamped and think there's no way out, I want you to know things can be different. I am teaching a new workshop and managing uh, on managing and maximizing your time. This is like nothing you've you have learned before, which is absolutely true. I found things that have to have to do with time that people don't even think about. So, I'm using that I I am using the same techniques that changed my life and so many of my coaching clients' lives. If you are ready for real change, and if you are ready to live a more happy, peaceful life while getting more done with better results, I want to invite you to my new workshop, Power Time Secrets. To learn more, get your ticket, drop a me in the comments below or DM me. Now, what I want to do is go and go over to the funnel and grab something off here. Because I actually... Unlock Unstoppable Productivity, Transform Your Business. I knew I had some taglines on there. Okay. So let me go back over to my post and put those in there. Uh, power Time Secrets. All right. So I've got everything in there. Let's grab a photo real quick. I'm going to use a temporary photo right now, and then I'll go back in and put the square in that I want to use because I don't want to take the time to go over to Canva. So let's go to downloads and grab uh do, 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 do. let's see if I can find something super quick. Uh da, 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 da. didn't oh no wonder. Date added. I'll just use this one right here for right now. That'll be good enough. I don't want to go take another selfie. All right. So the photo is uploading, getting the photo done there, all of that, hit next and go, and then we're set. So let's do this. We're going to take five minutes. We're going to do questions during the five minutes. Uh, after the five minutes, we'll do a post. We'll review your posts of what you did. Here's what I want you to do. Think about something that you can invite somebody to. Now, you may not have a class or a community yet. If you don't have a community, you should start a Facebook group or something so you have a place to do that ad tag message, right? You want a place where you can bring people into. But at the very least, I want you to think about inviting people to a conversation. Inviting people to a Zoom, inviting people to a phone call, if you're into phone calls, inviting people to a FaceTime, inviting people to have a conversation. Conversation is king. So if you, the more conversations you have, the more possibility you'll have for people buying your product or your business. So what can you invite somebody to? Let's take five minutes and go do some posts real quick, and then uh, we will do that. I, I think you're right, Sai. I think it was Adrian's uh, Adrian's idea, though. <laughs> His nickname for me is War and Peace, and it's not because I'm on extremes. It's because I have so many words. So love that. Love that. All right, let's do five minutes. Let me put the timer up, and then I'm going to go through questions and ask. And then uh, if you have your hand up and you have a question, wave to me and let me know it's a question and not a sharing your post, because I want to make sure to get the questions out real quick. Nina has a question. Yay, Nina. Hi, I wanted. Hi, your, uh, thank you, everybody. I wanted your opinion, so mm -hmm. I did a gallery on Facebook, and I put six photos in of after haircuts. But then the last photo it says plus two, and I thought, you know, I don't like that. It, it's covering the photo, and so I removed two of them. Do you agree with that in terms of a system? It goes both ways. So sometimes Steve puts up a lot of photos 
and there's a plus on there. And for a lot of us, what it will do is it will make them want to see what the other photos are and click on the post and stay on the post longer. Okay. So it, it just really depends. I don't do a whole bunch of photos all the time because I don't want to be known as the person that has so many photos that it takes forever to go through stuff. Okay. But in the same turn, there are times where, like I did one post on... um on just how on gratitude, my gratitude, my life. And I listed like tons of people like there in there, like Adrian and stuff like that. And I must've had like 60 photos because I put a photo of each person there, tagged them in the post, you know, did this whole thing. There's times where more photos make sense, but what you have to ask yourself is, can I say this story with a shorter amount of photos or do I need these photos to convey everything I'm saying? That's what I would ask myself. Okay. Well, I felt like four was good. Perfect. Then you know. And always yes. listen to your gut. You, you're pretty intuitive. Okay. And if you want to share it later, it's there. Thank you. Appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. Yay. Okay. So let's see. Um. Oh, thank you, Nina. I love that. Um. Did a post. You already did that. Why do you correct your post in Facebook and not in nail site? Okay. So Petra, two different things. I'm not trying to train the AI to always tell my story. It used to tell and always pitch all the time. I don't pitch all the time. I very rarely pitch anything. And so I found when I would tell the AI to do this and I corrected everything with regenerate, what ended up happening is the AI started giving me it all the time because it got to know me and it says, oh, she wants to pitch people all the time. And that's the exact opposite of who I am. Um, our rules like 80, 20, 80% 80 value, 20% offer. I actually go to the, more of an extreme like that. Mine's probably 90, 95% value and that much less pitching. And so I get, you know, a lot of, oh, if there's something offered, I look at it kind of thing. So that's why I don't do it. Now I do um I do correct in the AI when something's not long enough, something's not short enough. I need it to be sound more uh more powerful and things like that. For the most part, I get what I want out of the AI. I've been using it so much now that it knows me really well. But when adding stuff about an offer, I never do that in there. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I love your glasses, by the way. Thank you. Everybody does. They're so <laughs> very, cute. <laughs> very daring. You know, this is the first time I've done something in color. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's gorgeous on you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Um, we can do all these invites are on our personal profile page. Absolutely. 100% Linda. I only <clears throat> use, a, and I've turned it into a digital creator page. Um, I feel like it's helped in a lot of areas to do that. So absolutely. And Jennifer, I think it's the bomb that you had that conversation first. <laughs> All right, Deborah, did you have a question? Okay, let's go to Deborah. Then we're going to go to Mary and then Courtney. This is a simple thing, but it didn't work for me when I tried it. Okay. Uh, and you just did it. You clicked on to uh, pull up an icon, you know, for smiling or whatever you want to put. And I clicked on it and I couldn't get it into my post. So what am I doing wrong? Good question. Uh, do you have Mac or Windows? Uh, Windows. Windows. <laughs> See, I have a Mac and I'm just really starting to learn how to get my emojis up. My 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 tech guy has helped me learn a lot of things on here. Um. So uh, I don't know specifically how to do it on Windows. If somebody's on Windows, can you put it in the chat for Deborah on how to do this? You would think you would just click on it since the image is there, you know, when you're on your post, you would yeah. think you could click on it and then select it and it would just populate it in where you want it, but it doesn't right. do that. That's so bizarre. I have no, I don't know for Windows. I'm so sorry, Deborah. I wish I could, but hopefully somebody here knows Windows and can throw it in the chat for you and get some help. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, honey. All right, Mary. Okay. I have a question. Um, on Facebook, is there a way to schedule posts to run at different times? Absolutely. I can do it on LinkedIn, but I couldn't figure out how to do it on Facebook. You can do it on Facebook. It, it's only on the app, though, not on the um, desktop. 
And so, okay. um, and so what you can do, if you are a computer person like me, okay, I do everything on the computer. I like to see my phone, even though it's the max iPhone, right. is still like really small. So for me, what I like to do is I will make the entire post on the Facebook, on the computer, and then I'll copy it out in it. Are you on Mac or Windows? Windows. Okay. So I would copy it out and uh, email it to myself or put it in a Google Doc where you can be on your Google Docs on your phone too, but put it somewhere where you can yank it to your phone and then finish your post on the phone. So you can do the schedule. I wish they had computer schedule. They haven't put it in yet. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. He's using an Android phone and a Windows. There are a lot of yes. apps that you can share between the two. Perfect. Keisha, so have, Keisha says there's some apps for you, Deborah, that yeah, will so share I between the two. On my phone and my um desktop. My daughter mirrors her entire phone onto her laptop. It's... um. Yeah, so it's just a matter of the settings in your phone. Do you think you can find out the app and then maybe uh, put it in the chat tomorrow for Deborah? Yes. Yay. I'm doing it on my computer. Yeah, she's talking about mirroring your phone in your computer to where you can do your computer. Or wait a minute. I'm sorry. That was. You can work on yeah. either one and yeah. you can work on the other. So you can send the stuff to your phone and make a schedule yeah, for, post. For me, I only use WhatsApp on both devices, but my daughter mm -hmm. does everything on both. So I'll ask her real quick. Yeah. All right. Courtney. Oh, I don't have a question. I just did I just put my post, I'm sorry, in the, the in the chat. Oh. My link. Okay, beautiful. All right. Did you do that on your phone today? I did. Yay. All right. The phone is powerful for on the go. Okay. So she did a video. Did you know you could be super fit, but not necessarily healthy? That was me. Even winter, like clockwork, I'd be on antibiotics. Okay, beautiful. Did you know you could be super fit, but not necessarily healthy? That was me. I'd be on antibiotics thinking it was just that time of year, not anymore. I've learned so much about how a thriving gut leads to a robust immune system. One in on the secret, joined one of my Health Gut Sourdough 101 workshops where we'll dive into the art of, uh, the art of sourdough making and how it can fuel your gut for optimal health. Let's get our gut story together or let's get our gut health on track together. I like this. I just wish in here you had more detail of what you went through because of that. Because I don't feel like there's enough of connection there. So that was me every winter, like clock, clockwork, I'd be on antibiotics, think it was just that time of year, not anymore. Maybe talk about how you were tired. Maybe talk about, you know, some of the other things you were feeling, brain fog, all the other things that go with an unhealthy gut where people can connect more with that. Because if somebody's not taking antibiotics, then you've kind of lost the rest of the people that could connect to you because they're not thinking about that at this time of year right now. So if you have a story, of some of your, you know, like gut things that happen besides that to add a little bit more in there. So you have more connection points with people. Does that make sense, Courtney? Yeah, I don't know if I have anything else just to be completely honest. Okay. Like so I if could you, make, I could make stuff up, I guess. Yeah. No, I, I wouldn't make stuff up, but here's the thing. What I would do is say what I found was because it, through research, you found it, right? What I found was that gut health can affect brain fog, energy levels, leaky gut, whatever you want to talk about, and all these different things. So many people are living tired lives and don't even realize they have the power to change that. Something to that effect. If it's not your own story, then pull from research. Okay. Because you're just finding connection points for people. Right. Right something for them to relate to. Okay. 
All right. Great job, Courtney. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's see. What do we got here? All right. Coach Jenny, where are you at? Where's Coach Jenny? There she is. Hi. I was just going to share Jenny. the post. Hi. And I did put it in the, um, uh, I did put the link in. Okay. Uh, Michelle, I don't know why you are trying to give a keep app. All right. Um, do you want an answer? You sure. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, it's for Deborah. So the keep app will go between all your devices, whether Windows, Macintosh, Android, whatever. And you can copy paste. It's something Eric Worre told me about. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. So we have a solution. So if you are on wanting to make uh, posts on your phone because you can schedule the posts, and you're working on your computer, like to work on your computer at the beginning of that, there's the app for that. All right, perfect. All right, Jenny, let's go back to you real quick. And then we have got to go. Okay. Um, that's my pumpkin alarm going off, if you guys hear that. All right. First of all, kindness is the new cool. I like that. All mm -hmm. right. Let's celebrate together. Nope, that's well, that, your pinned that, post. Yeah, I pinned it. Oh, okay. And so Perfect. that that's why, but the next one under it. Okay, Jenny. Okay. Good morning, friends. On this Wellness Wednesday, we turn our focus to the importance of uh, uh, nurturing our mental well-being. I'd like to share three beneficial strategies that can help enhance our daily lives. Yes, dedicated time each day for personal reflection and express gratitude incorporate walks in nature into your routine, strengthen your social connections by reaching out to a friend or participating in community activities. Every small step we take is a move towards greater harmony and understanding within ourselves. Share in the comments something you do today to nurture your mental well-being. Self-care, you got a typo there. Oh, dear. Um, okay. Self-care is not selfish. It's an, a necessity for us to do our best each day. I will go first and I'm looking for what you will share today. I like this. The only thing I would add in here is, uh -huh. is that um, in between three and every small step right in here, I uh -huh. would love for you to talk a little bit about your personal journey in this and how it affected your weight loss and how weight and stress are related. If you can connect some of that in there, it's going to bring people back over to your uh, weight loss coaching. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Okay. Last person. Here you go, Steve. What's your why this Wednesday? Why Wednesday? I like that. Uh, everyone has a journey and inner drive. Mine was igniting a personal, uh, ignited by personal pain and a resolve to help others prevent that same heartache and darkness. I went through a betrayal in a relationship, which almost brought me to my knees. It was dark and I was dark and really broken, but told myself no more. I'm going to find happiness and live my life to the fullness. Instead of just told myself no more. I would love to see that I realized I had more self-worth and value than what I got from this. And I was going after something. I would be a little bit more descriptive there. Okay. I'm going to find happy. And especially be then going to, I'm going to find happiness. It's that perfect transition, right? I'm going to find happiness and live a life to the fullest. I started my journey on self-improvement and personal growth, I found that you need to find out what really makes you come alive. What arenas in my life do I thrive? Yes, we were just talking about that earlier today. I soon find out how to turn this pain into my power. I'd like superpower there. Okay. Um, like Brendan Burchard suggests, finding your purpose involves understanding what makes you come alive. What's your passion that perhaps you haven't pursued yet. 
I now help others to get out of the darkness and find the light, their aliveness. Today, make the step to align closer with what truly motivates you. And if you want some info on what I did, please send me a personal DM. I would love to help you. I would want at the end of that. All right. Yeah. Great job, Steve. I love this post. Love, love, love this post. Thanks. All right. Pumpkin alarm's going off. I got to go to my next training. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Tomorrow we'll be back at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific for My AI Live, where we're helping you become a master at social media, get consistent, and build a tribe that's going to bring you success in your life and business. Have a great day, everybody. I love you all. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Great to see everyone. Thank you, Michelle. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Bye-bye.